right before this started, we were playing a fun game of if you had to be called a character in Arrested Development. Well, first it was if you were a, one of the brothers in Arrested Development, and then I just extended it to all the characters because I want more of a choice. I want more of a buffet of characters, if you will. Um, and we had to decide who was who. And I decided at first I thought Cameron was Buster, but then I think he's more George Michael. But me, he immediately called Lindsay, and I find this to be both insulting and a little sexist because she's the only woman but he's not wrong other than the mother but i don't want to be her either oh no can i be the blind lawyer julia louise dreyfus she's in it for a couple episodes (laughs) i just want to be the the fake blind lawyer i call her she's me (laughs) welcome to a new episode of unhitched your dad trying do you want to take another crack at her name I don't know. Julia Louise Dreyfus. Louise Dreyfus? Is that her name? Well, sure. I call her Louis. <laughs> We're going to dish out some credit for that one. Um, but the, the stinking game we were playing was... Oh, I got to mess with the knobs. We're a little high on the ones and twos here. Easy with the knobs, Cam. I'm going to give that knob a titty twister. Oh my um, so the game was Brothers. And then you immediately expanded it to the whole family. So yes. I'm not being sexist and saying if the game was then flipped on you. Uh, so the game is limiting. If you're one of the three brothers in the TV show Arrested Development, mm-hmm. you know, which one would I be? You said Buster. Sure. I guess the closest to, which I think I'm a one cool stinking dude. I don't think I'd be like Buster at all. I'd be like this. If there was a fourth brother that was like Cool Steve, I would be Cool Steve. But now, no, it's the closest to, right? Now who's making up rules? Cool Steve? No. Well, yeah. Cool Steve doesn't play by any rules. <laughs> so no cool. Or you'd be Bob, blah, blah. But, Bob, yeah. <laughs> but, then, then, but then we have to, if we don't have laws and rules, then what is a society? Okay, We'd just y- be murdering. You're sounding a whole lot like Job now. I mean, um, I'm just going to just gonna, just gonna throw that out there. That's fine. Because now this mysterious person talking we'll I get apologize. to in just a little bit. Please shut up. <laughs> he gets it. The ghost in the room gets it. And it understands the confines of the game. It's a three-person game. You stay in there. So, okay. so um, let me ask you. Okay. If I was one of the three brothers, Job, Michael, or Buster. Yeah, you got him. <laughs> I immediately was like, oh, no, there's a third. <laughs> Which one am I? You're Job. You're oh. definitely Job. I am getting some hard thumbs up from my wife. Not just a gentle thumbs up, but like a yeah. I, I don't disagree with her. I'm definitely I mean, not. But then again, you aren't Job, right? You're right. you're adjacent to the Job character. I'm the closest to Job of those three, but right. I am not Job. So really what I was getting at here and kind of making this comparison, like if you were the one, if, you know, for the sisters, if there were a sister, you'd be the one sister because it's a limiting game. And basically what I'm really trying to say here is your game's pretty stinkin' stupid. I, this wasn't even my game. <laughs> what? No, it was. You, it was? You, you're, the, you're the one. Everyone, shut up in the room. We're going to play this great game. Come sit down. And we all sat down. And you're like, okay, now uh, everyone turn on your flashlights. Like we're in a sleepover. And we did that. And we're like, where are you going with this? You're like, okay, which one of you, uh, if you were a brother in the hit 1999 TV show Arrested <laughs> Development, which brother would you be? It's a real Job move right there to like take over the whole conversation and tell everyone to shut up. You're I'm Job. It takes a Job to know a Job. It's true. <laughs> well, gob. Well, uh, <laughs> it's still good. So, Lauren, um, mm. let's get to the big uh, elephant ghost in the room. Yeah. Um, we have a guest this week. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know which one to be more insulted by, elephant or ghost. I, mean, <laughs> I, I don't know. Is I would... that a reference to my weight or, yeah, or, my, or my skin shade? So uh, <laughs> <laughs> probably both. I think it's more your translucent skin. Yeah, it's more um, the sheet you refuse to take off well, as you sit here. You know, I just came from a meeting. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Now, now shut up. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> So we have our wonderful, um, one of my best friends, Walter Hassel, here with us. And and, I, and feel free to applaud, Lauren, if you want. I'll applaud. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> When's the last time you've given yourself some applause? 
just now. Oh, okay. <laughs> like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> I'm glad I asked, asked I think, and answered. I think before that, probably the third grade. I mean, you know. <laughs> Very sad. <laughs> With Miss Mask? No, you had the Bahama lady. I did. Miss Bailey. Miss Bailey. Bahama yeah. Bailey. She was actually Jamaican. Oh, this might be racist what I'm saying then. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Mm. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so wait, this begs the question, which I asked earlier, and I said, save it for the podcast. How long have you two known each other? Answer the question. Here, drum roll, please. This actually sounds really good on the mic. Yeah. It's pretty good. 25 years. 25 years? No, that's like 23. Probably at least that, yeah. Which Cam was- is it? So we met each other when Walter was uh, really, we we were going to the same school. We're one year apart. I'm one year older than Walter is. Mm-hmm. We grew up going to the same elementary school, middle school, high school. And uh, I mean, college, Walter, we, we split our ways, but felt like we hung out at least once a month or you More, know, bi-monthly. Yeah. Um, bi-monthly. Because you, bi-monthly. I mean, you we had in, bi-monthly dates. Yeah. Right. You were in... College Close, Station. College Station which is Ward Galveston. Right, so. which is Houston. So. Right. Um, we've known each other for like 23 years. So I'll since th- like the third grade. Yeah. Right? Pretty much. Yeah. Is that how long that's been? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Cam was really into Garfield. Yes. Back then. Mm-hmm. I remember Cam and his Garfield <laughs> Back then. Phase. Back then. <laughs> I love... What a sweet tramp that, that orange flip ball is. <laughs> He's a, I love Garfield. I still love the dude. I mean, we. I mean, how else do I know how to deal with a good Monday than you know through a, th- a three-page strip? Let me three, ask you, three-box strip. What's your favorite Italian food? Ooh, that's a good question. It's going to be pizza. Oh well, then that's where you and the cat part ways. No, oh. right? That's all I know about Garfield. And he has Dave. Is Dave his owner? Dave. <laughs> What's his I name? I don't know. No, but you. I think just incepted that into my brain. So whatever the real answer is, <laughs> I don't know who it is, but it's now Dave. I think John. John. John is the name. Is John. That- John yes. Arbuckle. John. Yes. J A R N. John. <laughs> now John was a progressive name? for a '90s cartoon. You know, he was. Uh, you know, he was thinking a little different. You know, his parents were hippies. They, I don't, I don't even know where this good, funny goof bit's going. <laughs> but I'm going to abandon it me. like a baby on a fire there, station. Yeah. You're right. His name is John, with no H. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. I don't know. I feel like that's a little funnier than John. No, I really did love Garfield. Binders, everything, comic oh strips. The How to Draw Garfield. I remember. Cam I, had I that didn't book. know how to draw him until I had that book. Scholastic Bookfair Ahoy. I was always the first one there to get the not only the books of Garfield, but on you know the adjacent books about Garfield as well. Canonical books about Can, Garfield. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. This is in Garfield's universe. The whole the whole Arbuckle Garfield universe. So wait, this makes me ask a question. I feel like we all had an obsession that was like on our t-shirts, on our binders, maybe like a sticker or a temporary tattoo. What was we know Cameron's now, right? Walter, do you have one? I oh, know I do. Pokemon, I mean, Pokemon. Ooh, so yeah, so, so much Pokemon. I even named my child after a Pokemon. What's That's, your child's uh, name? Charmander. <laughs> <laughs> no, he hasn't evolved just yet. Now you have two Pokemon children too, right? I do. Yes. And what was the second one? The second one was one of those weird that was out of the original 150 Squirtle. No, it wasn't because Squirtle, as we all know, was one of the 150. So it was out of the 150? Yeah, or 151. Oh, oh man. Uh, what, what's, what's your daughter's name? <laughs> yeah. My daughter doesn't have a Pokemon. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my daughter, uh, did, we didn't love her enough to give her a Pokemon name. So, <laughs> Or yeah. you yeah. loved her too much to give her a Pokemon name. <laughs> so... Um, I don't. I, I kind of want to talk about your children okay, for a second, sure. but I really rather talk about Pokemon. If okay, I'm go ahead. Honest. <laughs> so the, Walter and I went to this middle school, and um, it was Christian middle school. And there is, you know, sixth, seventh, and eighth because I know some Dallas weirdos do like seventh and eighth, and they got this weird sixth grade school where they send you to, you know, the reeducation camp or something, reeducation you know? camp in Alaska. I don't know what they do here in Dallas, but in Houston, in our middle school for seventh and eighth grade, there was this weird. So sixth grade, fifth and sixth 
we were really getting into those pocket monsters, right? Oh, yeah. We are gobbling them up, trading yeah. cards, Game Boy games, red and blue version, and then eventually yellow. Mm-hmm. So we were eating it all up. And then right. uh, trading our cards. Walter, I believe you had a Charizard? I did. Okay, you had a Charizard. I, did. I got it randomly in a pack. I was so excited. And that rarely happened. People had to work and trade and sweat to it and yeah. trick people into getting that. I never Very had much. one. Really? Yeah, and I've actually shared this with my wife multiple times. My biggest regret in life isn't getting a Charizard card. Like, I still don't have it as part of my collection. So if you, listener, have one and you want to barter with me, hit me up. Cam, I have two. Oh. <gasps> well, one is technically my brother's, but uh, you can have his. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just giving away all of my brother's stuff, you know, for well, the record. That, I, I'm fine with that. We'll work that out. Let the listener know Cameron got so excited he like I love choked. how you turn this into a courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, he kind of like choked on his own spit and like. <laughs> I mean, that thing delivers away. like what 120 damage. Yeah, 120 damage. That's right. Oh my gosh! And I have no idea what y'all are talking. Just about. Google it. Google Pokemon it. cards. Oh my gosh! So the I bring this all up, Lauren, mm-hmm. is because there's in in middle school there's this transition. So fifth, sixth, seventh was this weird period where you're really finding you're defining who you are. And I'll tell you what, it's really hard to let go of an obsession when you've your whole life has been. Garfield. Pokemon for oh. two, two two years, right? Mm-hmm. And but Garfield, we've we've put those immature things behind us and moved on to right. more solid yeah. meat, right? Right. And so we're eating up our Pokemon, and then come seventh grade, something happened midway through Christmas time of that seventh grade year. We come back and freaking just you're a big old baby if you're playing Pokemon. It was so weird, right? You know what I mean? You yeah, just, I went home and cried. Dude, like, and all honestly, uh, in all honesty, I remember I was one time outed by my brother when I was in seventh grade for playing Pokemon cards. Cam, I remember that. Oh, gosh. I remember that. I, I felt really bad for you. Do you remember where that was <laughs> in the school? Was it in the gym? No. Or it, was it in the like that little hallway leading out to the No. There were playground. multiple times. No, it was two times I was outed. I was out in front of the cool kid Mark uh, More like in the, Mark Tormentor. Yeah, Mark Tormentor. <laughs> well, how did we not know that? I would have ruled your school. Oh, I know. Mark Mark Tor- but Mark Tormino was like half our size anyway. Uh Probably a third of our size, that's I would true. say. We were big chunkers. Um <laughs> It's so my brother, like, my mom was an art teacher at the school, and we were waiting for her to come pick us up, and I don't know what Mark was doing, just just hanging out outside of the school. Tormenting. Yeah, tormenting the place, throwing uh, cinder blocks into the windows and such as one does. And my brother <laughs> comes in, and he's just like, come on, you got to go, blah, blah, blah. If you don't come now, I'm going to tell everyone that you like Pokemon. And I was like, you just did. <laughs> <laughs> and... And then I just remember Mark Tormita just hearing that. And they're like, you still play Pokemon? And just like, and like, part of me, I remember this, wanting to say in that moment is like, I don't play the video game anymore. I just have the cards or like something like, (laughs) listen, no, listen to me justify this. I still play the original video game that I got in fifth grade. But why? Don't you have them all by now? I do. Oh, no, no. Actually, I've never caught all the Pokemon. I just like playing the game over and over again because i don't know i have issues uh, okay that could be it I, I really don't know it's a fun game though no it's absolutely no it's i absolutely. think it was the number one game for game boy i mean in terms of playability no you could play it i played it like two or three times it's yeah. a good game did you not ever play pokemon lauren never have i ever i did not again game. we're having our little <laughs> sleepover <again. laughs> right no. flashlights are on i had no idea i used to i found two cards on the playground once and i kept them those the only ones i had oh really what'd you get um i think charmander was one of them so um your son's name mm-hmm. and um i think the other one was squirtle Mm. And that's, I really liked Squirtle. I thought that's, he was really funny. Yeah. I actually <laughs> legally had my name changed to Squirtle yeah. in, in 2005. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> you're a funny one. House. He's a class act, that Squirtle. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Best turtle squirter I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> is that why? He's a, um, 
<laughs> beloved by many. Um, wow. Okay, now I'm going to tell y'all the cartoon I was obsessed with. Okay. Well, I was going to ask. Can oh, I ask? Yeah, please. I, okay. Lauren, what was your obsessive, like, weird thing that you wore all over your body and, like, and, like maybe took into a closet from time to time? <laughs> Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird. Oh! Tweety Bird. Oh. Tweety Bird. Have we ever mentioned this on the podcast? I don't think we have. Okay. It. Yeah, lots of Tweety Bird shirts. Tweety Bird shorts, Tweety Bird binder. Now, yeah. how does one have Tweety Bird shorts? What's going on with the shorts? Easy. They're oh. like cotton material. Okay. Elastic waistband. Sure. And there's a little Absolutely. Tweety Bird just right on like the left, like mid thigh region, uh-huh. like a circle, like a circle and a Tweety Bird in it. Oh, okay. And you wore it with a matching shirt that also had Tweety Bird on it. Same color, like color on color, monochromatic. I wore it all the time. Of course you did. It yeah. was like me and my... Uh, I also wore Garfield attire a lot. I had three shirts. So I get this. I, we're in a yeah. special place, you and I, right now. I had a... I so had what a, else? What else did you have? I had a giant night shirt. Remember night shirts? That's what girls slept in back then. Right. Like, just a giant shirt. And it was yellow, and it had... It was just... The whole thing was Tweety Bird's face. And it just said, Bad ol' alarm clock. Bad ol' oh, like she's hmm. a southern man. Bad ol' alarm clock or something. I don't know, but <laughs> I declare I still have that thing. Are you sure it wasn't what's his name? Are Foghorn you... Leghorn. Foghorn Leghorn. No, of course I know. Of course I know. Do you think it was Foghorn Leghorn saying like this? This old tweeter bird's a bad old alarm clock. <laughs> Maybe so. You're saying that's a speech bubble from another. Maybe there's an adjacent shirt that someone else needed to buy. It's a very meta shirt, right? Yeah, or it works in a pair. There's like another. There's a set, and you didn't get the other T-shirt. You're you're right. I'm just maybe your future husband has a foghorn leghorn full blown (laughs) sleeping shirt. One of these days, I'm going to ask you: Are you a battle? Sleep an alarm clock? <laughs> and I'll be like, that's how I know. Yeah. That's and I also I had this um you know, you remember at CC's when you would put your quarters in and you get a temporary tattoo? Sure. It was like yeah. fifty cents yeah. and you pulled out like this the white like sandwich envelope, the white taco thing. Right. And inside you were like, What's it gonna be? Well, there was a Looney Tunes one, and I tried to get Tweety every time I was at CC's and I never did. Finally one day I got Tweety. And I coveted this thing. I put it. Well, no, I didn't because it was mine. But I, I kept it precious, precious <laughs> So it wasn't to sin. Me. I wasn't coveting because I owned it. Right? That's how it works. Sure. And so I I would, like laid it on my nightstand and I would just like think about it at night. And then one day I was thirsty and I brought water to bed with me. Ice water. Mm-hmm. What does ice water do oh, in no. a plastic cup as it gets warmer? It, it sweats. It sweats. Mm-hmm. Where did I put this cup on that perfect little coaster Tweety Bird on top of Tweety. So Tweety Bird tattoo pressed and it was on my nightstand for years. Uh, wow. <laughs> like half a Tweety Bird tattoo. Well, think on about it. Stand. You probably got to enjoy it a lot longer than if you put a if it temporary had been on your ta- arm. Right. Exactly. You're so, right. So I, I really I, think you got something kind of sweet out of this deal. You guys are right. I didn't see the logic when I was, you right. know, 10. I was really upset. So what was the logic? Were you just a fan of the TV show and just was like, I love that old tramp on that screen. I guess every cartoon's a tramp to me. I don't know <laughs> why I'm saying I really can't explain why there was love. Like, I really can't. I Still to this day, is it a boy or a girl? I don't know. I was about to ask you that. What is, what is it, Walter? I'm, I'm really oh. not sure. I, you know, I don't think talking. anyone really knows. Is Tweety Bird a boy or a girl? I mean, I think I. Well, here's like, the question: Is Big Bird a, a boy or a girl? I feel like they're both boys. Probably, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like they are both boys. Should we leave it a mystery? Yeah. Okay. We're good. That's fine. Yeah. Well, uh, should we get into our sweet topic thunder for the week? Yeah. Oh. Boom, boom, Topic thunder. What? What is it? What is it this week, you say? I say. What is it this week? Okay. (laughs) This week, that was the... Lauren, can I stop it? Let's stop the podcast for a second. Yeah. What we just did there, that was our dumbest moment ever. What? It was magical. No. No. no, Walter, (laughs) shut up. I feel like we've had so many more dumb moments. What were we doing there? We got to... Lauren, we got to get this. We got to lock this down. We were yes-anding. 
I guess that's true, but it just came out a little weird. I mean, yeah. Okay. That, well, all right. Well, we got to get back to it anyway. Okay. I love that. I love it. Do you like this bit whenever we do this? Yeah. It's okay. the aside. Yeah, the aside. I like it. We'll call a little uh, unhitch your dad, try and sidecar. That's another funny goof bit that we do for you out there, listener. What else do we do? We also go out and try life's experiences and outings so you don't have to, right? So we could definitively, bleh, definitively determine whose life is better. Is it singles? Is it male weights or is it parents? <laughs> we don't know. We'll find out either when one of us dies or we quit the podcast. Right. Um, this week, everyone, we did. We'll be honest. We're going to level with you, listener. We had a. We kind of were kind of stretched for this one. We might have done some things and then found the common denominator between what we all did. Yeah. And then we slapped a label on it. But the label, this juicy label, and here it comes, is Beach Bodies. Uh, you could already tell in the title of the podcast you downloaded, but Beach Bodies colon a good paddling. <laughs> Right. Uh, so the common theme, the common denominator, what was under us all in the fraction of life, because mm-hmm. denominators is like the basement. That's how I remember that. The basement. <laughs> so you can crank up the bass in the basement. It's paddles. We did some paddling. <laughs> Specifically, we used some paddles. And and some water activities, right? Right. There was right. There was bodies of water near us. Right. We and we were all in our swimsuits, not right. together. Not a shared giant <laughs> shared swimsuit that we all shared. No, we separate swimsuits each. Separate bodies of water and separate bodies all together. And 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 one could say that they were uh, beached at one time. Beached bodies, right? Right. Because they're. Like a beach, you listener out there, just like a beach, that's just what's at near the ocean. No, all bodies of water have beaches, right? I mean, right. technically, any wet sand is that's, a beach. That's true. We could also call them bank bodies, like river banks or lake banks. Lake banks. But that's more of kind of an aquatic type, like, I'm going to use the word adjacent one more time. Are you ready for it? An adjacent place to do banking, right? Right. Like banks, like water banks, you know, right. like Imagine maritime. How cool, law. a right. water bank would be. What? Please, please draw it up for me. I just imagine, you know, you swim up to get your money from the yeah, ATM. Yeah, kind of like a like a swim up bar. Sure, <laughs> it's a swim up. Everything that's swim up is somehow way cooler. Right. right? Obviously, yeah. I completely agree. Swim up. Just imagine, like, oh my gosh, when you can swim up to the bar and order a drink, you're just. Oh, anyway, so what, what, what kind of swim up businesses do we really like here? Or I, need, or what kind of yeah? So I, I'm picturing uh, an appliance like swim up appliances because appliance shopping is the worst, right? Yeah. So imagine you're just hanging out at Schlitterbahn and you look aside on the other side of the large pool you're at, and you're just like, hey, there are a bunch of washer dryers over there. I'm going to swim over because I'm sure as hell not going to go to any Sears anytime soon, right? <laughs> so you and, just swim over and you're like all sopping wet and you're standing at the counter like water, <laughs> not high enough to be comfortable, like right. just high enough to still be in the water like like mid-butt area. Sure. And you're like, uh, well, the whirlpool, what's... Uh, <laughs> what's going on there? <laughs> like, <laughs> can I give it a test try? Uh, like, I don't... Like I, I guess these don't really aren't fully functioning, but like, can I throw these these trunks in there? And the guy's like, no, they're uh, they're really just display well, only. Then you'd be nude in the pool, and that's not okay. Not at Schlitterbahn. It's a family I mean, place. I, I don't know. Not at Sch- Schlitterbahn after not at, hours. Not at Schli- <laughs> Schlitterbahn <laughs> after dark. <laughs> so at, at this, um, so essentially, I'm talking about a nighttime kind of adult swim. Type Sears adult <laughs> adult swim, <laughs> right? So, what other kind of businesses do we got here? Okay. I think I think the best swim up anything would be like a swim up movie theater. Oh, right. That would now, be are you cool. just getting that because Alamo Draft House, the the one of the more prominent movie theaters? That's right. I'm about to tell you what they did: a showing of Jaws in Fort Worth, where you can get in a sweet little. Uh, like inner tubes that have pictures of Jaws on it, and you just get to watch the movie Jaws when you're in the water. I think if you watched Splash <gasps> while you were in the water, mm-hmm. you might actually turn into a mer per- person. Mer person is a great term. Mer person. A merpson. 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 That's right. Yes. Merpson. 
But it whether like a or fun not Muppet. it's your head or or your like lower body that turns into the fish part, I think it would be kind of up in the air. So what? I think it's just like half. Like if you were to split your head just down the nose, down to the crotch area, it's just like half and half, right? Yeah, oh, geez, that's the totally. ideal kind of mer person. Man, you still get some of the swimming, the yeah. vertical split, all, yeah. all the fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's such a hideous imagine. <laughs> like I can't. Oh gosh! Well, I'm picturing it. But it's it's going to be there's going to be huge complications, and uh, you know, for a person that's the top parts of the fish and the bottom parts human, and and same for the top part human and the bottom part fish. You like, think that there are less complications if you're split hot dog style, right? Mer person, a merpson, hot dog. All you're going to the only problem you're going to have is that you're going to be swimming around in a circle because you're stronger on once you have a strong <laughs> swimming side. No, but that means. <laughs> Your lung is a lung. The other half is a, what, a water filter? I don't know what they have. <laughs> they call them gills. A gill? <laughs> yeah, I think that's the uh, oh. technical term. So you can essentially become, uh, you know, you could essentially dominate in this, you know, up and coming water world we're all going to be living in, right? Movie. Yeah, absolutely. So good. Mm. Until they spend a pretty penny on that. Love it. Mm-hmm. Um, I like me some Kevin Costner. Mm. So, you Jet know. ski racing. Jet ski racing. I don't remember that. I just just remember there were jet skis. I don't remember like a big race. There's not. I just, (laughs) I like jet skis. I played a lot of Wave Runner on the N64. Oh, Oh. such a good one. That was a good one. That was one of my other obsessions. Really obsessed with Wave Runner. Like all the gear, all three things. Anyway. um, Beach bodies. Beach bodies. Colon, a good paddling. So this week, uh, and I will... I'll gladly start us out. My paddle uh, was I, I did some paddling with my best best friend Paul Smith. Oh, you know, good old Paul from uh, College Station. Paul, we call him Simple Paul, <laughs> or I'm just calling him that. <laughs> kind of like Simple Jack, I guess. <laughs> Tropic Thunder. <laughs> anyway, we we're wow. just talking about how Tropic Thunder doesn't hold up as a movie. Give it a watch. Prove us wrong. It's an awful movie. Um, so me and Paul. Uh, went went out to uh, went to uh, Marble Falls, Texas, and uh, the family had some uh, kayaks that we don't really use. And so uh, one day during our Fourth of July weekend, we just uh, set out and just tried out some paddling. Now it's kind of interesting being a dad because you know we always got to somehow relate this back to whatever the premise we're trying to accomplish here with the podcast. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Like being a dad, it was a little tricky because I may or may not, you know, really communicated to the wife that, you know, I was planning to go kayaking. And little did I know to myself how long kayaking actually takes. Because I thought, hey, I'm just going to have a 30 minute excursion out with my old pal Paul out on the lake. Um, I told the wife, hey, I'm going to go kayaking. Can you watch Ellie? Can you take care of baby? Do all this stuff. Um, while I go catch up and like kind of free myself and go catch up with Paul and kind of kind of really, dip into that single life a little you're bit. You're painting a very <laughs> romantic picture. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> we did our paddling. <laughs> we did it. So me and Paul go skip off to was, get some alone paddling time together. Was a kayak full of so, rose Now when I say <laughs> paddling, I really spell it P A L dash D D L I N G because he's my pal. Okay. So uh, it's but you say it quickly. It's like pal doing because <laughs> he's my pal. So <laughs> so we go off and it's actually kind of nice. And like all jokes aside, let's let's put them jokes away. Mm-hmm. I had a pleasant time with Paul. It was nice to just get out, shoot the breeze, um, shoot and let the currents just kind of take us because we really didn't have that much control over what we were doing um, there. We, so, one, it was probably the hottest day uh, of the year so far. It was like 100 degrees outside. Ugh. And I was just so, I was so over that. So, we greased ourselves up. And uh, Gosh, and before, really? I, before I set out, this wow. is at, this is at, no, this is beach body. So, we got to talk a little bit about that beach body. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> before I set out, my, my grandparents, because they know my, you know, my family, my genes, we love skin cancer in our family. Oh. So my grandfather came out and gave me this cool hat. He's like, you got to wear a hat, bud. And he gave me this hat. So I had this nice, huge floral gardening hat out. 
And you know, I've been working on my beach bod, right? Like, you know this. Yeah. And I was like, hey, it's time to shine. And so literally, I, you know, I took the shirt off and I was like, hey, we're going to do this. And then we go down and we start putting sunscreen on ourselves uh, individually. We didn't put it on each other. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, it was hot as balls out there. Mm. So immediately put that shirt back on because the best sunscreen is a shirt. Fun, fun idiom. I didn't know if y'all have ever known that. Thanks. We have that on a quilt in our bedroom. <laughs> um, it's the best thing to have on a husband and wife's quilt. Yeah. <laughs> the best sunscreen is a shirt. Best sunscreen is a shirt. <laughs> so um, sweet. So we, we go out paddling, and then uh, we're just catching up, and we decide to veer off to check out this cove I've always wanted to check. And I always I was so sure the cove would link up back with the lake, but that's really not how water works. Typically when water branches off like a larger body of water, it rarely circles back to it. It's not a lazy river. No, no. I, but something in my mind was like, oh, this just kind of circles around like it does at SeaWorld or Slitterbond. <laughs> sure. And so I had Paul completely convinced that – in the kayaks that we could make it through this and it kept getting more and more narrow. So maybe an hour and a half in, uh, we were just in like flat out stagnant water in this back cove streamer checking out. Didn't leave anywhere. We just got stuck on some logs and had to push ourselves back. We were not getting out of our kayaks because we didn't know what was going to be in those waters and what kind of disease we were going to get. But that water was straight up stagnant. And uh, so anyway, we back out. And, uh, and I have no idea what time it is. All I know is I'm getting sunburned, even though I put on SPF 50 and a t-shirt, which as we all know, is the best sunscreen. Damn straight. And so anyway, I feel like, Hey, I didn't have the adventure I want. So I then convinced Paul, we're going to go to the end of this lake. And it's really a more of a river than a lake. Cause technically the lake we're at was called the Colorado river. So I was like, I'm going to get to the end of this. We just suddenly realized just because we can kind of see something out in the distance doesn't mean that we can get there within the hour. And so we started paddling to the end of this river. And then all of a sudden I look back and I realized that Paul's already quit on me. He was just ready. Paul's been dead the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. So come back home. Amy's sitting outside of uh, the what we call the apartment, which is a part of the house. And she's just chilling, and we're carrying up our, our kayaks, and Amy's just chilling. Baby's asleep. Like, I'm just worn out, and then Amy's just like, you've been gone for four hours. <gasps> oh, my. We had no idea. Four hours? Yeah, so that's my paddle and beach body trip. Oh, wow. Did you get in trouble, Cam? Uh, you'll find out later. Ooh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's paddling part two. Paddling part. Oh, that's a different oh kind of paddling. Um, Walter, we never actually, I mean, we talked about your son, Charmander, and your daughter, uh-huh. non-Pokemon name, yeah. Pokemon? Pokemon. Pokemon. We're in Texas. Pokewoman. So I think Pokemans is is is, is allowed. Yeah, okay. they only call them Pokemon. In, uh, Pokemon, man. <laughs> you said it, so I'm not in trouble. <laughs> um... So you are in the hitched with kids. Right. I am. Yes. You're a dad. So they tell me. You're a dad trying. You're a dad trying. Yep. That's You're our first dad trying other than Cameron on this show. What? That's, Podcast. Is that really true? I think so. No. 27 seven episodes in 27 with a V, not B. Uh, <laughs> You're like Spanish all of a sudden. 27. 27. <laughs> Uh, I feel like now Brett's a dad. Now he is. Yeah, that's true. He was yeah, got then. me. Um, gotcha. But I mean, the wife was pregnant at the time. Let, okay. Let anyway, let, let me have this. All right. He Gosh. gets. He fin- You know what? We can finally do something with this crown here. Unhitched uh, your dad trying. Other dad trying. Welcome. I I am wearing the crown, and it is slightly askew because that's how cool I am. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you got that weird slope on your head. I do, I do. I do. It yeah. looks good. Yeah. And Walter, is it true you do the do? Uh, no, <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> For all clarity's sake, let the podcast listeners know Walter does not do the do. For the record, I no longer do the do. Walter. Yes. 
thanks for joining us today. Not a problem. Um, we'll see you next time. Tell me more about like what do you what do you do? What, what do your, I do? What is your life like? I, this is my first time. What meeting is you. my life like? Well, I am a stay-at-home dad. That's currently freaking awesome. Yes, I want to um, be that. I have stayed home for two years with one kid each, and now they're both. Uh, in uh, daycare school type stuff. So. Nice. Yeah, it's been pretty awesome. Oh. Man, two kids. How old are they? Two and three. Mm-hmm. Oh my mm-hmm. gosh. Because we are definitely you know, super planning for that. They're so close together. And 19 months. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're like almost Irish twins. Yeah. Uh, so... You know, we got the two kids. Now, I want to hear about your your recent paddling excursion as well. Because this was kind of on the fly. We just were like, hey, you're in town. Just come and join the podcast. But you actually had something pretty interesting that I wanted yes. As a dad, you did some kayaking too, right? It was it was, uh, it was one of those uh, little... It was paddling. Paddle. It was like a paddle boat thing, you know, that you sit in and you pedal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think the... Technical, yeah, paddle boating. Does he, yeah, does he yeah. Have? it's it's a it's a it's not called a paddle. It is a paddle boat. It's a paddle boat. I have no idea what it's called. Suddenly, I was like, no, it's, it's confusing because now they're paddle boards, paddle and, board. and most people paddle board now. Paddle but you were paddle boating, mm-hmm. old school style. Yeah, oh. yeah. I ran away from everybody <laughs> at this big. Uh, I don't know. Our town, I live in Cheyenne, Wyoming, with a population of like 50,000. Right. And uh, so every And you ran year, away with that weird half merman fish thing, and they got <laughs> in the paddle boat, right? And they were going in circles? Correct. Right. We were going so, in circles. But that was at this particular... So Cheyenne, actually, we want to mention right now, um, before you go into it, sorry. Sure. Walter's not from Texas, or Walter doesn't live in Texas right now. I'm gathering that. Cheyenne. I'm moving back, though. Really? Yeah. I've been gone for three years, and I'm and where do you sucked live? Sucked back into the vortex of Texas again. <laughs> Vortexes. Vortexes. <laughs> that sounds like a cool roller coaster. I would. I would, go on I that. would ride yeah. that roller coaster. Yeah. You're about to get on it. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> I mean, welcome back to Vortexes. Yeah, that's true. Um. No, seriously. Uh, so this was a part of a, a fair that y'all went to. There's like an all day. They call it Super Day, mm-hmm. which is a pretty fitting name. So they like basically get all these bouncy houses and Fun. face painting and yes. games for kids and like all these booths where you can do stuff um, for all the kids, and it's all completely free. Uh, and everybody can just come out and have a good time, and it's really loud, and there's a ton of people there. That's how there. you know it's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I uh, kind of ran away at one point, and I got on a paddle boat. <laughs> Wait, you really did do this solo? Absolutely. So uh, don't tell don't tell my wife. She better not listen to this, because she doesn't know. <laughs> That's okay. But, but I ran away. I was scared. Well... Wait, were you? Wait, for, yeah, why? Why did you run away? What was the inciting incident? For we running had away? we had some friends staying with us that day, and they had three kids: seven, four, and one and a half. Oh and gosh. so it's there the had been storm. there had been so many children in my house. I I just couldn't take it anymore. So you had seven, four, your three year old, your two year old, and a one and a half year old. That is correct. I would have run away. Yeah. So wait, did did you go to the fair before anyone else, or were you just going to the fair by yourself? No, I was at the fair with all these people. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I imagined you ran away to the fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would have been cool. If For the record, if I was going to run away to somewhere, it would be to the circus, you know? True. Not to the fair, but uh, no, it was, it, was, uh, it was a big day. And I uh, had a lot of fun on the paddle boat for like five minutes of peace. <laughs> You're like out there crying like, thank you. <laughs> Make it stop. I don't like all these kids anymore. So, but what was that like to actually get into a paddle boat by yourself? Yeah. Like, it was, first off, what did the an, person say that gave you the paddle boat? Like, I, what, I, what I, I got get, definitely got some weird looks from the teenager that was running. I feel like, I feel like it would kind of be like uh, as a guy going into... Victoria's Secret and just like walking around and looking at everything but not buying anything. Right. You know? 
I just kind of got weird looks. Like, is this guy like is, is he is, is your he, wife is he, out he, here, sir? Is he a creep? I mean, you know, does, do you have kids? I mean, sir, it was like, like that kind sir, of you, definitely that kind of vibe. Sir, this is not a solo paddle boat. You're gonna have to find your. Is your wife or mom here? Correct. Or yeah, right? wife or mom. Is your mommy here? Like, oh you know, that's what people say to me if I ever wander into a Victoria's Secret. Which I, I don't. I if don't your know. mommy was there, then there's a whole lot of issues. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was really wondering where you were going with that, Cam, and now I, I'm not really sure I want to know. Hey, hey who's well, your mom? <laughs> who's your mom? <laughs> I said, where's your mom? Oh, who, where? This is a different question if you're saying where versus who's your mom. She always brings me to pick out her brassiers. <laughs> ah, yes, Mrs. Carter. Oh, no. No, I don't like going here. Get me out. So, wow. so I have this mental image, and I know I just met you, of you just like alone on a paddle boat, which alone, when you're on a paddle boat alone, you have to like straddle the, like, the joystick. Right? Yeah, because you can't be on one side and paddle. I know. Were I you mean, on one side? I was on one side. You were on one side. How does yeah. that work? It was just kind of going in circles for a little bit. No, <laughs> I thought. I think they're both connected to the same thing. Right. No, they so are. there's the two one bar. Things. Right. You have your two slides. And then you have this one bar that hold, houses the pedals on both sides. Right. So usually you have to straddle the middle and then kind of use both persons paddles right unless was it a bucket seat paddle boat it was it was i a didn't bucket know there are different seat. types i didn't know either i thought it only existed in 10 things well, i hate about you <laughs> that movie oh no, this seriously? is the kind that was a kind wow wow so what's a buckle seat bucket seat paddle board i'm so confused <laughs> bucket <laughs> buckle seat. board paddle seat <laughs> Well, I'll let you explain a bucket a bucket seats, you know, like in the back of a van. Sure. It's got like individual seats. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, that, so that's like a paddle board for me. That's exactly what I'm just thinking of. No, you're not thinking of a paddle Good, just, board. Y'all keep talking. I'm going to Google okay, it. You Google this, it. Cam. Walter, I get it. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I didn't get know it. how long we were going to have to explain this. <laughs> I, I mean, no, I didn't know. It'd I be. could draw a diagram, Cam, if that's helpful. Nope. Maybe. Googling it. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. So it was so weird. So you were on one side, which is funnier. Correct. Because... And, and I'm also, you know, I'm not a light person. So, you know, it was kind of listing. <laughs> Slightly, Just slightly. <laughs> did you yeah. go very far? No, just far enough away where I did not hear any screaming. <laughs> you're like you just paused out there. You yeah. just finally reached the edge, and you're just like you just hear this faintest scream go out of your earshot. <laughs> you finally feel alone. I was like, honey, I'm gonna go use the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Okay, bye. See you later. And then you finally got away, and you're like, oh, I do have to use the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And you like just like, hey, no one's around. Yeah, sure. Right in the middle of the lake, yeah. in front of all those kids, and was... then they really think you're a creeper. Yeah, we got a we got a single adult male <laughs> paddle board over here. Paddle boat, worse. And the, the paddle boat police came. You know, <laughs> there were like two paddle boats with the flashing lights. <laughs> They they were both dressed like the people from Miami Vice, like both sets of police. I didn't know which one was <laughs> the the one to be afraid of, and, and which was the one that was going to bring me a, a coke in the interview room. You know, good cop, bad cop. Yeah, all paddle boat cops are bad cops. That's yeah, right. you would think they would all be good cops, but yeah. no, you're exactly wrong. They took me to paddle boat prison. I, I've seen I've seen horrible things. <laughs> Paddleboat prison sounds like a fun <laughs> game. Guys, y'all sent me down this. I can't pay, I can't find anything here. I will show you later. You will find this later. Completely I, wrong area right uh, now. I can so tell. Listener, Wait, when was it? When was the paddle boat in? In ten things I hate about you. I don't remember that part. It's when Heath and Julia Stiles. They she flashed the teacher to get him out of, cl- get, of no, detention. I remember that? Yes. <laughs> Who? What? What? Um, male would not have. I, of course. I guess. Of course. And then, so they're paddle boating across the lake to get to that paintball place. Oh. And they're like paddle boating. And I, yeah. I was like, those are bucket seat paddle boats. I had never seen it yeah. before. No, it was like that. Okay. Oh, totally. these things. Yeah. Yes. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew it the whole time. Good for you. Fun. Um, for the listener, Google an image of a... Uh, yeah, apparently it's a lot easier to look up 10 things I hate about you paddle boat than to look up bucket seat <laughs> paddle board to find what you're looking for. <laughs> well, Fun paddle tip. board would be, you know, th- I think part of the issue there. It's super wrong. Yeah. Oh, paddle, a paddle boat. I, I put it in right. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> 
You just look wow. so done with me in that moment. I put it in. Get my... off. Oh, gosh. Everyone's on my case. <laughs> Get off of my paddle boat. So, you know what I love, though, is you both, both of you being a husband and a father played a part in your paddle boat paddle story i did not anticipate this i thought we were going to be grasping at straws to get this to be relatable to that topic but it is oh it's very relatable everything you do has repercussions in the family (laughs) sphere that's the whole now the ripple effect exactly i feel like most of the topics that i choose have the ripple effect back to the family i mean if you really think about it there i I mean one day we're going to go clubbing i can't bring ellie to the club right or can you Mm. Maybe it could. Maybe maybe there's a right club out there. It would be like uh, The Hangover, right? I, I think. I mean, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. We could do that. Yeah. Well, Lauren, tell yes. us about your. Uh, now you went on a big old excursion. I did. Tell us. Tell us a little bit about the trip, where you went, what you did, and All then right. hit us with it. I went on a cruise. <gasps> I went on a Royal Caribbean cruise, and I went with three of my um, single girlfriends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it was like a uh, unhitched soup trip. <laughs> all, all the single ladies. <laughs> all the single ladies, exactly. All the single ladies. So we were um, celebrating the birthday of past guest Caitlin oh, Van Wagner. That's mm-hmm. okay. Um, comic book store. Yes. Comic store Wagner. Comic store. Comic store Cam- Wagner. <laughs> Wagner. Yeah. And um, so and also past guest Chaney Nall. Yep. She was in the brunch episode, and um, Liz Atwell, future guest mm-hmm. at some point, I'm sure. Um, and so we just had this really awesome cruise. We went to Key West, we went to um, Havana, Cuba, and we went to Cozumel, Mexico. So first of all, in Key West, it was kind of a bust, but we met a famous person. What? And I will give you guys three guesses. Just think. I will give you a hint. Think. Um, Wait, can we just start guessing without a hint first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Three. A famous person. Uh, Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. You can't okay. take mine, Cam. <laughs> okay. Jeff Goldblum. A. Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> okay, give us one guess now. He did. Um, really? He's dead. How did he died between now and Cam? I think you're going to need to verify this okay. on Google for me. Uh, okay. So Jeff Goldblum is your only guess of the three of the famous people. I gave you three guesses. Oh, between I think that we each three we get three guesses a piece. Well, then okay. hurry. Okay, so okay, what's our first clue? Um, singing. Lil Wayne. Mm. <laughs> T Pain. T Pain. You guys don't even know. Okay, who. <laughs> give us one more clue, and we're going to give you our last guess. Um, Disney Channel. Aaron Carter. Yes! Oh. You did that the oh. I'm amazed. How did you wow. know? It was the only thing on my wife and my Instagram feed from four different people for like, <laughs> and it remained on there for like three days. So That's of course true. I knew what that was. Yeah, we met Aaron <laughs> Carter. That's right on the streets in Key West. Yeah. How Man. is he doing? Is he still a little kid? I mean, <laughs> he's not. He's a grown up. He's our age. He's he was super nice. Super duper nice. I was very pleasantly surprised. He no, wasn't... I didn't actually have a preconceived idea of what he would be like, but I'm always surprised when I meet someone who's super kind. And he commented on my Instagram. That's great. Right? That's really But nice. he wasn't all prideful having beat Shaq and everything? No. <laughs> no, he didn't even bring that up once. <laughs> okay, that's good. Caitlin did ask him who broke the lamp from Aaron's party, and he sure. said a crew member did. And we were like, oh, someone actually broke a lamp. Oh. Interesting. But so we met Aaron Carter. Do you that think was... he just gets tired of... I don't These know. Questions? I wonder if he gets asked that a lot. But he's coming Pro- out probably not a anymore. great new song that I'm very excited about. He played a snippet for us on his phone. And you want to name that song because I don't think it's that new. It's not a new. It's a remix of an old classic. Is it? Is it? Is it? I want candy. It is. It's a remix of I want candy. But it's he's remixing it, right? Yeah, it's an EDM remix with Whoa. someone else. It's going to be pretty cool. I listened to it. I liked it. Uh huh. Anyway, uh, I. Yeah, that's my exact <laughs> re- reaction. Uh huh. Eric Carter, if you're listening, thanks for being so cool. It was really fun to Thanks for you. liking, commenting, and subscribing. <laughs> <laughs> and we were all four of us wearing our Perkis Power tank tops uh, from see, Heavyweights. No, you didn't. Uh, now, did you buy those Perkis Powers? Because you told us your dumb thing a couple weeks ago was that you bought four Perkis Power t shirts from the hit Disney movie. 
heavyweights. Correct. Um, I didn't know they were specifically for this trip. Because I didn't know that you planned this to be y'all's get up. Like, hey, we're the Perkis Power Girls. Like, was that your identity on the ship? Was that how people knew you? Was that what you were going for? Suddenly we were like, well, we're all going to have this tank top. We have to wear it on the cruise. And and I love that we were just so proud to walk around wearing fat camp tank tops, essentially. And we were just like, we're going to wear these. And we wanted to see who would recognize them. And you had two dudes, right? Two dudes. That is it. Wow. Two. Aaron Carter being one of them. Ooh. And this other guy, I can't remember his name. We took a picture with him, though. I was let down by the amount of people that recognized him. <laughs> but I think Power just <laughs> to have that one celebrity know, it I does, mean, that, that's yeah, got to make it worth it, yeah. right? Like, one famous person equals, what, like 30 regular people? Right. Something like that. So, right. like, if some, you know, like, a million people couldn't comment on my brand new awesome hairdo, but if, like, Jeff Goldblum passes me on the street, uh, hey, dude, nice haircut. I've that met, was actually Barack Obama, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I I've, I've met Jeff Goldblum actually. <gasps> Did you really on a flight? Which one is Jeff Goldblum now? <laughs> Bless you. I'm sorry. I get him <laughs> and I get another person mixed up. He's the one that was Think in the Dino Fly. DNA. The Fly. Jurassic Park. Oh, he's handsome. He's in Twister. No, 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 no. Independence Day. Independence Day, the seconding. Wait, he was in Jurassic Park? Yes. Yeah. Independence Day. Number he was the, one and two? The president in Independence Day? No. No, no, no. no, no he no. was the quirky Jewish scientist man. Jeff Goldblum, tall guy. He's the not salesman on Portlandia. Tall he's, guy. He's got dark hair. He's not that tall. He was on... Oh gosh! Let the listener know. I don't know who Jeff Goldblum is. Noted. My my heart is like. I'm sorry. I'm so it's, sorry. It hurts. Well, you had this cool story. Now we can't tell it because Lauren does not know her was celebrities. He cool? So did he, of he, course he's cool. He was very cool. You tell her about all he was people. flying jet blue, like just a regular flight. What a nice guy. I know. Was I didn't ask to take a. Well, it's all coach. Oh. So, Good for him. Save yeah. him money. He did have the entire front row of the plane booked. Oh. And he ran off pretty fast. Makes sense. I do know who that is now. Thank you for yeah. showing him to me. Thank you. I'm I, sorry, Jeff, if you're listening. We know you're a fan. He's, he's definitely a fan of the show. Yeah. He told no. me that when I, when I talked to him. <laughs> no, Jeff Goldblum <laughs> is that one celebrity. I've had a lot of friends, you included, and a couple others. I've had many of my own friends say, I've met Jeff Goldblum, and I want to know, why haven't I? It's like the most frustrating thing in the world. He's one of my favorite actors. I'm just... You're, you want it too much. I want it too much. Maybe that's yeah, it. Yeah, you got to like sort of That's want like it. me wanting Dennis to meet Dennis Quaid a lot, and I'm probably just going to end up meeting Randy Quaid or well, something. Wait, like, isn't Randy Quaid in jail? Isn't he dead? I don't know. Well, he flew into the middle of that saucer in Independence Day, so I don't think yeah, he's making it out of that. That's true. But in the second Independence Day, I don't remember. Well, I don't know either. Haven't seen it. <laughs> it was not very memorable. No. <laughs> That's what I heard. Okay. Well, if there is no Will Smith, yeah. I mean, really? There yeah. wasn't... Will Smith wasn't in that? No. There's no candy in movies anymore. Huh. And, I mean, that's the best movie candy there is. Will, Will Smith? Smith? Yeah. Smith. Gotta Fun. love Hitch. Some, yeah, that's true. That <laughs> His <movie>. best role. <laughs> By far. Movie. Oh, it's got a good old friend, Paul Blart Marl Carper in that. Paul Blart Marl Carper. Paul Blart <laughs> So, are, wait. My paddling. Yeah, tell us about that. My beach body paddling. So, Cozumel, we went to the beach. Uh-huh. Um, we, we had, like, a giant inflatable water games. Really fun. We climbed up these mountains in the water. By mountains, I mean inflatable mountains with handles. And slid sure. down. I literally burned my butt on the slide in Mexico because it was too hot. Like I had a, I have a burn. That should you be a make T-shirt. I butt. burned my butt on a slide in Mexico. <laughs> or how about I burn my butt in Mexico? <laughs> burn my butt in Mexico. So many, uh, uh, you know, applications for that. I can Spring wear break. it. Spring <laughs> break. I burn my butt. Spring no, break. Really on the back it says, "I burn my butt in Mexico." Exactly. But it sounds like I did something sinister and like, like sexy. I literally slid down an inflatable no, slide. No, I'm gonna say, Lauren, that did not sound sexy. No one was thinking. Well, oh, does it? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I burned my butt in Mexico. Anyway, and you just got that. burned by the bro crew over by here. Bro. <laughs> Whoa! I we went snorkeling. 
Mm-hmm. And um, Cheney and I went paddle boarding. And brunch, Cheney. Brunch, Cheney, and I went paddle boarding. And I apparently chose like the professional paddle board, like a really thin one hmm. and very narrow. And and I I'm didn't thinking, know you could have professional paddle boards. Well, it's I didn't thing. know either. I guess it's like surfboards, right? Sure. Like if it's the smaller the surfboard and like the thin, like the harder it is. Right. So I think that there's an equivalent of like there's a thicker paddle board that's like more fiberglass. So it sits more on top of the water. Mm-hmm. And I didn't grab that one because I was like, this one's pretty. And I grabbed the thin professional one and I could not stand. I fell off about 15 times. Like just in the distance, Liz and Caitlin were watching me and I would be like, you know, like rocking back and forth and then in the water and then (laughs) would step off the back and the thing would just like launch into the air. And it was terrible. Oh, geez. It was really fun. I really liked falling. I laughed I laughed a lot. I choked on some water, but I have a great video yeah. that I'm going to use as we post about this episode of me falling off the paddleboard from a very large distance. And you can just hear Liz just cracking up. That'd the... be a pretty good treat right there. Yeah. I'll yeah. show you after. So again, this topic doesn't have a lot of meat on it. No. So, <laughs> but, but paddleboarding was one of these have you've never paddleboarded before, right? No, I have. You have where have you done it? I have paddleboarded in, Morocco, where I also couldn't stand up because there are really big waves. I have a lot of excuses for why I can't stand up on paddle boards. I'm just not very balanced. I paddle boarded in Hawaii. I actually did it decently there. Mm -hmm. Still fell a lot. And then I paddle boarded in Cozumel. No, uh, go for it. Uh, Paddle boarding for me is kind of like when people say they're going paddle boarding, it's like the same thing I picture when people say they're going snowboarding. I'm like, oh, your butt's going to get wet. <laughs> like, that's a, you're essentially that's essentially what you're telling me. Like, you're going to be in the water the whole time, much like a snowboarder's butt's going to be in the snow and it's going to melt. Like, I don't think people actually enjoy paddleboarding once they get into it. It sounds cool, yeah, right? It looks cool. And you know, I think... Does it? I think you're right. I think whenever I have been successful at it, I thought... Man, it was a lot more fun when I fell in all the time. <laughs> right. It would be nice if I was wet right now. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it's uh, way more fun to fall in and then just lay on the paddleboard and be like, hey. Right. You know? So so what we like to do, Walter, is that we usually like to take our outings and experiences and kind of sit them in front of us, think about it, reflect on it for a minute. And then we like to kind of assign a rating to our experience out of uh, one through ten. So, um, Lauren, why don't you start us off? Give us mm. an example. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. So, um, from the eyes of a single lady, I will say that my paddling experience was very funny and a little too short for my taste, but I guess that's good. You know, leave yourself wanting more. We had to, they were putting the paddle boards away, so he said we had 30 minutes to paddle board. No, we had 10 minutes. We only had 10 minutes, and I think I fell off, like I said, like 15 times. That's not true seven times in 10 minutes. But, um, thank you. The time with (laughs) the time out there with Chaney, I really wasn't really talking to Chaney because she was just zooming around me like a speedboat. Um, I, I had a great, I was just cracking up. (laughs) It was nice. I was on a trip with my three of my best girlfriends, single ladies, not a care in the world. And it really made me realize how not really ready I am to have people dependent on me because it was so nice just to be completely on my own and just read when I want to read and I feel like you're rating the cruise Lauren I feel I feel like well beach bodies a paddle right it's beach time so I guess is anything between in the area of the shoreline to where the board was out in the water anything in that space so now the podcast of we have no rules is now getting rules Walter am I am I, I right I, I'm not cool with this Cam okay. yeah suddenly the rules are real. I remember when this podcast was about no rules <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's no right rules. guys I'll admit I've taken it to a dark place <laughs> I'm Thank sorry. You for admitting Rules that. disbanded. Go ahead and rate your whole life as a single person. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I would say the paddle boarding was kind of like the the cherry on top of a great day, day of whatever the, the day of the day. 
And um, <laughs> that's what they call it in Mexico, Day of the Day. The day so, of the day. But honestly, the paddleboarding itself was kind of lame because, like I said, I stood up for maybe forty five seconds, and the guy was like waving us in. So I'm going to give my paddle my paddleboarding experience a five. Great. What about your beach body experience? Oh, my beach body experience. <laughs> oh well. Now is this beach? your beach body <laughs> or are you rating it's, other it's people's open beach open to bodies? interpretation oh you no know, rules that's right i think it if could be someone beach, else's beach body and- i give people's beach bodies a 10 all people get a 10 because i don't believe in less than believe? a 10 if you're on the beach and you're having fun you're getting a 10 that's great yeah, yeah. now what about people that are shoreside I mean, land side, like nowhere near the beach. But that is the beach. Oh, wait, wait. They're like just in yeah, the yeah, land? Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> I, I call all land shore because that's what it is. Okay. But I'm talking to like more away from the beach, like so, someone at a supermarket so, down the street. So Why would you rate their like land bodies? <laughs> yeah. Their land bodies? Meh. <laughs> Well, no, seven, is, seven. Sorry, uh, is this if they're wearing a bathing suit to the grocery store? Like, yes. if there was a dude in a speedo in the grocery store, I, I you know, I don't care what he looks yes. like, he would get a ten. I mean, that's awesome. <laughs> that's confident. that takes guts. That's I true, like and it Walter. shows guts too. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, I don't know. I think anyone who can go to the beach and just have fun, they deserve a ten because. Too many people just don't even get in their swimsuit because they're too Stinking nervous. bedridden people that can't no. even walk. Can't even get in their own beach suits. Beach suits? That's right. You can call it beach suit. Beach suit. <laughs> so that's what you're saying? Those lamos who can't get off their, their medical beds and come no, out to the... No, that's okay. different. If you can't get to the beach, if you can't be in your swimsuit, that's one thing. If How do you rate their bodies? <laughs> <laughs> So, this is important. I'm glad we're doing this. Okay. I feel like you're avoiding the question. I read their bodies. You know what? Two thumbs up. <laughs> two thumbs up there. <laughs> That's a fine is rating. Two, fine. two so, thumbs up their body? Or are we talking about... Right. Whoa, Walter, Walter. I feel like Walter really took... We didn't explain the confines of or the, the parameters. Walter, you just can't say that. We I, didn't explain to everyone. Walter's on some Sudafed. I sincerely yeah. apologize. <laughs> Uh, Walter, do you want to give us your rating? Okay, uh, my rating was uh, five stars. Would would eat there again? Uh, a little bit loud. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Didn't realize you were eating at, on the paddle this is boat. A Yelp review okay. of my paddle boat. You no, it, it was okay. I felt guilty about it afterwards, so I don't know yeah. what I should rate it. Like, that has to come into play. Seven. Yeah. I rate it seven. Because it was nice to be away from everybody, but three in that I couldn't tell anyone, and you know, you minus three because I couldn't tell anyone, and I felt bad about it afterwards. Yeah. So I, I should have done it with my kids. You should have, but you have should two have. kids in one boat, and there are only two paddles in them bucket boats. Yeah. You would have had to just drag one behind in the water. That's true. Probably. Probably so. Which or... one would you drag in the water behind your boat? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well, since uh, Charmander is a fire type. You know, I... <laughs> yeah. Can't extinguish can't, that, can't bur- be, that bright fire flame. Type, so, yeah. right. You okay with that mic, Lauren? I dropped it again. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Tell and us. not not in the cool way. Just for the record, there was no like mic drop, and then she walked out, and then came back. As uncool of a mic drop. Actually, mic drops when they happen in real life are never cool. No, they're always loud. And I think, how much did that just cost the AV guy? Seriously, right? AV yeah. people hate mic drops. There should be a PSA on on uh, NBC or something where, like, you know, we have Jeff Goldblum come out, like, uh, mic drops. Never cool. And he like picks up a mic off the ground and like holds it and puts it away safely and walks off the stage. The more you know. Exactly. <laughs> so um, your rating is like a four. If you take the seven minus your three for guilt, it's a four. Correct. Is that really, right? Is that yeah, accurate? Yeah, it's, but I was also accurate. seeing it as it would have been a 10 and you subtracted the three for guilt. Anyway. Also that. Okay. I mean, so it's open to interpretation. Okay. It's like a, it's like a, um, it's like a, it's like an, uh, an English class essay, oh. you know. Mm. It, it is what you see the art as. I All don't right. know. Subjective. Sure. So this, that's great. Apparently, <laughs> our whole rating system is completely subjective now. It so, always has been. Uh, okay, fine. Gosh, it was. 
It was a four. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's just one. Give me them. Give me them solid numbers. Though. I was right. Um, Cameron. I, so let me say this. I'm going to restrain myself and simply rate my beach body or beach bodies, <laughs> the, concept of, the, the concept of beach bodies and uh, paddle, uh, a, get, a good paddle in. And <laughs> good paddle in your so beach body. My good paddle in wasn't that good. And um, the beach bodies were okay. You <laughs> know, were okay. all two of them. They were a okay. You and Paul? I, I'm, didn't, I'm not saying which ones, <laughs> but they were they were a okay by me. And uh, you know what? I think we're going to land on a solid five because apparently I lost the whole concept of time while I was out in the water. Um, I don't know. I guess it's kind of like that thing where a person stays on the earth and another person goes out in the space and they come back. It's physics. Right. It's physics. It's all physics. Yeah. Um, so uh, five. So I'm the only one with a guilt-free paddling experience. That's good. So you like it, you like a good paddling, and I think we could definitively say that guilt-free paddling. You know, I feel like mine score mine scores <laughs> my, <laughs> <laughs> mine scores. It was nine, <laughs> nine. It should be higher. Yes, I feel like it should be. Higher. Uh, good bit. Good you know, bit. With that being said, I feel like. Cameron, you were about to fall asleep at the microphone. I am. <laughs> I am in desperate need of medication. Yeah. So with that, we want to thank you, Walter, for coming out. We, Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, paddling along with us. Um, thank you all so much for listening. Mm-hmm. We really do appreciate it. We've had a lot more listeners. Hooray. I, so as, as always, we want to say definitely keep telling your friends. I don't know if that's the magic that's making this happen. Tell your friends about the podcast. Share... Just hey, if you if you tweet about us on, on your Twitter or Instagram and say hey, I listen to this great podcast, we'll we'll give you um, a pony, coffee mug, a coffee <laughs> mug. Yeah, did anyone get the coffee mug? That's what I wanted to ask about. Well, I was asking you because they had to tweet at you oh, and you had to see. undo your password. I figured out my password. So if no one from last week actually tweeted at Lauren and someone tweets out, hey, this is a cool podcast, you'll get a free mug from last week's episode. Let me see. Let me see before I before we get. So all. we're gonna wait. So I actually did not fix figure out my password. Of oh. course, I found out that you don't need to type in your password on the app, and I was doing about it on the old desktop like an old lady. Right, because that's how most people tweet. Is right. They log on. AOL. Right. It was the whole like dial up is profile. Very nice. Let's see. So yeah, no one tweeted me. <laughs> Okay, well, then it stands, listener. If you uh, tweet out or Instagram post or Facebook post about our show and let us know, you get a free mug. Yeah. Yeah. It's a cute mug. It says, we, we, we talked about what it said yeah, last episode. Yeah, it's right over just here. Listen. Yeah. yeah, just listen to that last oh, episode. Also, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I was going to say, legally, I can't say that you're going to get a pony with this mug, <laughs> uh, but uh, there may be a horse. Oh, oh I, in your future. He does live in Wyoming, folks. <laughs> <laughs> horses are plenty. So there's no can, pony. There's more horses than people. There's up no there. horses. Uh, no ponies, but horse maybe. Horse maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe that's second place person. First place gets the mug. Second place maybe gets a horse. Yeah. Anyway. Um. But also go to my Instagram after this is live, and you will see the video of me falling off the paddleboard. Yeah. Fun treat. Just Meet watched it. Super great. Nidoroni. N-E-A-T-E-R-O-N-I. Bada bingo. Walter. Aaron Carter knows it. Does he really? Does he follow yeah. you, yeah? Oh. I don't know. Check that out. Um, uh, follow Lauren on Instagram to find out if Aaron Carter follows her. <laughs> I used to follow Aaron Carter, but there was like a restraining order. Right. And, uh, you know, it's complicated now, but, uh, Aaron, if you're listening, yeah. I love you. So and we're always meant to be together. Now, Walter, you've had a couple of people in your life that may have needed a restraining order for you, but now you have this public space. Do you have any kind of social media you want to share with anyone, which I kind of know you don't. Uh, I am, I am continuing my self-imposed social media blackout for now. And Cam is my only friend, and I've definitely told him about the podcast, so. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, again, thank you for coming, Walter. Thank you for listening, listener. If you want to follow me on anything social media, good luck. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not that hot. You could follow me on Cam Carter 2010 on all the internet things. Did you just say you're not that hot? <laughs> not that 
Not that hut and not that hot. <laughs> not that hut. I'm somewhere in between. All right, listeners, we'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye. Yeah. I love your Pee Wee Herman impressions. Hi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was Fat Albert accident. <laughs> <laughs>